introduce you again to Tracia Todd. She is Assistant Superintendent for Learning in Hayesville. And as we've done with the other candidates, we'd like to give her some time to tell you all uh, so we can hear the same thing, a bit of her uh, educational background and her work background. Opportunity for you to ask her some questions as well. So, Tracia. So these folks over here are just going to nod because they've already heard part of the screen. So it'll be good. Um, I, this year I celebrate my 25th wedding anniversary with my husband. Uh, we have two amazing children. I have a, a, she'll be 21 this summer, a daughter at KU who will hopefully be graduating soon. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. And an amazing son who just started at Wichita State. I do like K-State too, so that's okay. <laughs> Any university they wanted to go to, I was all on board. Um, but we've been in the neighborhood now for our, basically our entire lifetime. Um, I live in El Dorado, or El Dorado in Circle. Um, the camera wasn't on, I would say I'm willing to trade up. <laughs> but it's running, so that's okay. Um, we've been in this neck of the woods for a long time. Uh, my husband works in Cessna and has for several years. My career started as a high school, I was going to be a high school language arts teacher. So I've had experience in grades 6, 8, 10, and 12. Um, but when I got out there, I really liked the kids who had behavior issues, emotional challenges. So I went back right away and did my um, master's degree in working with students with emotional disabilities and taught in self-contained settings. So I, I had the kids who were um, not successful in schools and needed a different setting, and those were kind of my babies. It was really my heart and soul. Um, that's really where my work started. I was mentoring a new teacher. Because at one point I went back to a gen ed building, an elementary gen ed building, to be the special ed teacher in the building. Was mentoring a new teacher, and she said, there's a job you should apply for downtown. And so I applied, it was for a teaching specialist job, and um, that was my work that I did for about four years in Wichita Public Schools. And at some point decided, uh, I wanted a different setting. So I applied in Hayesville, and was hired as the elementary curriculum director, and eventually um, ended in this position as assistant superintendent for learning services. Um, it's been an amazing journey. I keep telling myself I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, which is probably a good thing. Um, just recently started my doctorate program, and I will tell you this is the second time I've started it, because the first time, um, it was on my birthday, and I sat in the first class and I thought, you know, I could do this, but I don't want to. My kids were going into high school and I really wanted to be a mom because that is the most important job I have. And so I walked out and said, um, I can start this program now and found a different spot for me to be later. So now I'm back in school doing homework. That is so not a lot of fun, <laughs> but um, it's the right time, it's the right place. And um, I'm still able to support my kids. I'm still able to do my job because that's all online. So my heart and soul is still in the classroom with kids. and. Um, I'm looking forward to the opportunities that El Dorado has. I will say this is the only position I apply for as a superintendent. Um, I'm really interested in, um, I've sat, as I told a few of you, I've sat on the other side of the court, if you will, during some of those games, and I've watched from afar the amazing things that happen in this district. Um, touring around with Sue today was incredibly powerful to, to see the, the pride in the buildings. I did get a hug from some sweet girl, uh, which was the highlight of my day so far. and. Um, it was exciting to be here, and that was kind of why I applied. So 